Okay, uh, as I had mentioned, uh, today I needed to build a, a, a bubbler for this uh, new unit. I'm going to, well, additional unit for the mill. So I figured I ran out of my bubbler, so I, I need to build two, three more to deliver some um, units. Uh, anyway, um, first let me start. Um, these are the end caps. Okay, uh, this is this would be the bottom. Uh, I add a new feature to my bubbler. Um, you know, um, those of you who are very fond of Harbor Freight, um, doing a little advertisement from here, they sell these uh, step drills. Uh, there's they come in three. Um, this one happens to have the half inch hole that you need to drill this completely through. Okay, and of course then I have my uh, tap for the appropriate thread for our fitting that we use. When I tap these, I don't, um, let me if I can start this in here, I don't tap this thing all the way through. I do it because the first set of the threads on the tap, they're starter. Uh, you know, they get it going and eventually, and what happens is I'll tap it about, you know, halfway through. What that does, I discovered, is uh, if you tap it all the way through, what's going to happen, your fitting goes in real easy. And then you try to figure out how to seal it. What that does, I'm going to use an old fitting here, it doesn't even have a nylon tape in it, so you, uh, you could imagine. You can start it by hand, okay, of course the nylon uh, tape will make it a little easier. You start by hand, and you, you know, eventually you start healing the friction, of because it's tight, because you didn't tap it all the way. Then you'll take your expandable wrench and tighten it. That gives you a very good seal, plus with the tape in there, it'll even give you a better seal, okay. so. And uh, most of you have seen how I, you know, the construction of my air, air stones, um, put, put them together, just going to just slap these together here, and it goes in, you know, thread it in, and so on. Now the new uh, feature I did to my bubbler, these are uh, little valves, shut off valves or drain valves that you could find at Lowe's. They have these in their aerator section in the plumbing, of course. Uh, I think they use this for aerating indoor plants or um, greenhouses. Anyway, I found these because I, I need to find in, incorporate some kind of drain system on my bubble without taking the system apart to drain it. And of course, you saw that little tube here. This is the high density polyethylene tube that you use. It's a big coil of it in your back of your fridge somewhere. It looks like it's a mile long, but all, what that does is just really put water in there and cool it. And when you want cold water, it's cold. Anyway, a piece of that, and of course just our standard quarter inch tube that we use, and just put it in here. Of course, I spot tie these. Then this would be the fitting. I probably use a straight fitting because it's just anyway. It'll slide in, and then and you'll you know screw it in. So like so, the bottom of the bubbler looks similar to this. So like that as you can see the air stone and of course you know my my clear uh, PVC pipe that I ordered from a local plumbing supply I try to use some of the local businesses to get what I need and you know you that way you build a rapport with them and when you're in dire need you need it yesterday and they'll order for you you know uh, and you don't have a problem getting them and they're it's also a way to talk about your system and and though anyway I, I got several business from them in fact, one of their trucks is running on hydrogen right now. Anyway, that's the bottom of the bubbler. Of course, I'm not going to glue this together. And I'm going to put it on top. Just like that.